page 35? Well, yeah. Yeah, well. 37 is a total, though. Okay, let's go to 37 and put the total and discuss the whole thing. We're brave. $125,351. Second? Wait a minute, who moved Jerry it? seconded it. Okay, Mike, thank you. Jerry. All right, Danny, we... Okay, I, I guess the primary question that's being asked is uh, the line uh, regarding contract labor, which, uh, you know, why have we, we increased to 3000 and why haven't we spent it yet? Um, <coughs> answer to that is this. Over the past um, several years, uh, Susan, who not only is a trustee but also on behalf of the Heritage Commission, has sponsored a Warren article for restoration of the Pine Grove and Ring Swamp cemeteries, and uh, they passed comfortably. Uh, Susan's done a wonderful job with it. Uh, there's three thousand dollars left to do, to finish off uh, Ring Swamp, and uh, Susan asked us this year if we could incorporate that into our budget instead of there being a Warren article. So that that's the, that's the reason for the three thousand dollar increase. <coughs> The reason uh, you haven't seen it spent yet comes down to our hedge clipping. As uh, you know, we have like 180 hedges that need to be clipped every year. I had a heck of a time finding a landscaper this year. I do did finally find a gentleman who's doing a fine job, but he's not quite finished yet. He's 99% there, and that bill hasn't come in yet. Once it does, that's going to wipe out that line, and then we won't and, be asking. And, and then some. So, and I guess that was a question. So. Other than that, I'll, I'm just here to say once again, I'm uh, very pleased with um, and appreciative of what we do. Our purpose, as I stated in the past, is peace. Um, fortunate to work with people who fully understand that, and I'm also very proud of the uh, 25 largest cemeteries in the state. We are the only ones that operate uh, with a budget of under 150000 and that's all I got. Good. All right, I'm going to start on this side with Glenn. Oh, no questions. Thank you. Yes, sir. All set, thanks. All set, Ken. Thank you. No questions. Pass. No questions, and <laughs> thank you, Dan. I will not forget your name again. Sorry. I apologize. <laughs> no questions. It's a compliment to tell me you look. Uh, tell me I look like an actor. No, what's his yeah. He's he's an Irish. Uh, he's an uh, he's what a um, <laughs> yeah, he's uh, an Hawaiian Eskimo, and I'm an Irish Native American. So you know, it's easy to just, anyway. <laughs> so whatever. Danny, I don't have any problem with your budget because, quite honestly, for what you do, I don't know how you do it with the budget that you give us. And. Um, Every year that we've sat here together, I've waited for like, you know, Chicken Little, the sky finally fell. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you bring us another budget that the increases all have logic. Unfortunately, when you have a budget this tiny, if you spend $10, it looks like a 50% exactly. increase. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Um, and I just want to compliment you and, and your board of trustees and on doing an excellent job and taking care of um, an area that means a lot to a lot of people, Absolutely. okay? And maybe not the way you think of in everyday life of having a community center, um, but this is every bit of as much a part of the people of this town and, and how they feel, what makes them feel good inside. And um, I want to thank you for keeping this budget where it is because it's this is not easy. This is okay. not easy. Thank you, Ivy. Um, I have just two things, I guess. Um, on page 31. Um, Cassidy. 31. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry. 35. It's hard to read the ball. 37. Hey, 37. 35. Yeah. 37, 35. 35 before I start. Okay. Gas heat. Um, finally, gas heat. Mm -hmm. You have 1700 Um, You did budget 2000 mm -hmm. for last year, mm -hmm. but you only put 269 mm -hmm. 
Well, because I have a brand new building, right. uh, it, it, it was renovated, and as far as the utilities, uh, this we've only had really just one full calendar year of trying to figure out how this is all going to work. So it's had utilities are always hard to begin with, but now with all this, um, I didn't have running water in the past, so I used to just turn the heat off. If I was uh, going home on Friday night, didn't think I was coming back to Monday, I'd just turn the heat off. Um, can't do that anymore. And it's, uh, it was made to be, and Maddie did a great job with this, uh, the building was designed to be more efficient, and we think it will be, but, uh, you know, it's, it's a new building. It's all new, so. Okay, that answer that question. This is, the first, this is the first winter of it, right? Mm -hmm. It's the second, but it's the first full year oh, in total, to, so it's, I still don't really have a real handle on it yet at this point, Rich. And is this the same increase for water? Water is crazy. Well, you know, uh, we have an air. No, uh, you know, we have an irrigation system that I'm quite, as I've said before, I'm quite sure was put in by Ben Franklin's uh, <laughs> uh, youngest son, and we do get a lot of water leaks. And I, I'm very fortunate. I have men there that can fix them. My my guys, my groundskeepers are amazing. Mm -hmm. You know. The, oh. And we fix, but sometimes they get underneath. I, I had one, uh, I'll never forget uh, what year it was, several years ago, a uh, Memorial Day, uh, Saint, what was the day the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor? Okay, the same day, December, right, okay. Okay, Pearl Harbor Day surprise. I got to you know, the water had been turned off for a month and a half, and all of a sudden I get this $2,700 bill from the water company. I took it down. They admitted it was a mistake, but it was still 1700 And, uh, you know, we just never know. So a lot of times those leaks are underneath. So it's hard. Uh, we have, we, we just have to look at the meters and try to watch them the best we can. But it, it's difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I didn't quite follow your uh, line item with the contract manager, the labor act. Can you tell me that again? Just real quick. You, you said something about a warrant article, and I was trying to keep that straight in my mind. The last few years, yeah. uh, Susan, uh, on behalf of both serves both the cemetery and the Heritage Commission, commission has successfully sponsored a warrant article yeah. for restoration of the Pine Grove and Ring Swamp cemeteries. Okay. And she's overseen it, as I say, and she's done a wonderful job. Uh, she needs another 3000 to finish it off, this phase of it off, right, which is Ring Swamp. And instead of doing the warrant article this year, she asked requested that we incorporate it into our budget. So okay. it's, there won't be a warrant article, okay. it's in the budget. I was thinking the other way around. I'm off that. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. How many residents do you have in <laughs> Get me complaints. <laughs> the re uh, the, the, the re I, 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 I haven't had any complaints from the residents. Uh, the, the, rel the relatives occasionally have uh, comments to make, but uh, uh, no, seriously, you know, uh, and I, I know I say this all the time, um, but I'm going to say it again because I think it's important. Um, a cemetery, when we talk about rest in peace, um, well, that's really not up to us. That's up to a higher power. You know, our purpose is that those who it's for the living when they come and visit the cemetery that they feel in peace. Yeah. That's what it's all, that's what it's all about. As far as ah uh, yeah, we do. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll probably be one of the last public cemeteries around. Actually, we're good. We're good until mid century. But you know, having said that. Children being born today will not be interned in High Street, but, uh, but that probably won't be the method. Uh, by mid-century, that's not going to be the method of public. Uh, it's, uh, what it's going to be is that there'll always be private cemeteries, but what it's probably going to be at that time is um, public mortuaries for cremains is where it's headed. Or where we're headed. Well, we're, we're probably not headed there, but... Uh, well, who knows? <laughs> Jerry? Jerry? 
Look, he's he's operating on a on a skinny budget, a very thin budget. He always has. He's really on a shoestring. I, I really, I as much as I'd like to dive into this and go over every line item and and, and go over some dollars and pennies, I I I, I, I'll, I will support his budget. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. <laughs> well said. Jerry, how does the default side look on that? Uh, the default, We're going to move on from that, that, that discussion. Okay, so it's clean. That's okay, great. It's clean. Where it's supposed to be. Another one for applause. Thank you. Joe. All right. We have the motion. We have the second. We've had the discussion. All those in favor? It's unanimous. It's unanimous. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, so thank, you. thank you very much. Whatever your name is. Thank you. <laughs>